It's lunchtime. Well, actually, leftover time. Still looks tasty. Lunch was delicious, the truck is looking good, and I did a wardrobe change. Now it's time to get some work done. I bought a cat fuel filter for my truck because I want to replace the one that's in it right now. I replaced it when I first bought the truck and it made it run so much better, so much smoother, and now I want to go ahead and put a new one on. This is an aftermarket one. It does filter better, that's why I'm using it. And that's why I'm not going with the standard fuel filter is because this fuel filter is much more, well fuel filters are measured in microns and this one just blows the other one out of the door. I should have cleaned under here as well. Hmm, maybe I'll have to do that. So right now here's the old fuel filter, the white piece, and then this whole unit is brand new. This and the fuel filter came as one. I replaced that 10,000 miles ago, now I wanna replace it. See, I was having problems with this before I left because my kit, you need, a, you need an adapter kit, my kit didn't come with instructions so I had absolutely no idea how to do this. But after doing a little bit of research, I think I know how to do it. Saying that, let's get dirty. I like getting dirty. This is what I've already done. I've put in these makeshift spacers right here. I just took two nuts and I put it in between the fuel head unit and the bracket that it's supposed to be hooked up to. And what that allows me to do is fit this bulkier filter in the spot where the original one goes. I just have to make one modification to the fuel head unit so that this new one will work. I tried to do this up north, but I was running low on patience because I didn't do any research, which caused the vehicle to start but then would die because I didn't remove a spring and a ball. I have to remove the spring and the ball. Uh-oh, I might not have the tools to do this. That's not good. Oh my goodness, I've never been so happy to see one of these kits. Maybe I need to invest in one of those things. It just came in clutch right here. It looks like it's gonna be a lot easier if I just take the whole assembly out, disconnect the hoses, and then once I get it out, I can bring it out into all this real estate and start fixing her up. Well, actually tearing it apart. understand that there's probably a lot of you guys that are wondering, Dalton, why the hell are you working on your truck when you're on vacation? It's just in my DNA. I have to work. I love to have fun, but I also love to work. It's in my genes, and good luck trying to get that out of me. It's something you can't unprogram. You can't uninstall it. It's a program that can't go into the recyclable bin. It's gonna stay right with me. That should do it. So here's the ball and here's the spring that I removed so that I can use my new filter and my new adapter. The only problem, I made one small mistake. And that was, I left this O-ring on the adapter, which means it expanded. So now I washed the diesel fuel off with some soapy water. Now I have it on a black surface so that it'll dry out and shrink. I've just discovered that this line is shot. It's really bad back here. And it's actually got some cracks up here where it goes. So I'll hook up the line for now, but I will order one. And I'll order it to this address so that I can put it on down here. So I don't have to put it on up there where it's nice and cold. Where the snow's flying. And the snowmobiles are roaring. Just a few weeks ago I was telling you guys that the Duramax has been bulletproof. All I had to do was put fuel in it and go. Well now she's in the need of some maintenance. So it's not a surprise that rubber hoses crack. It's not a surprise fuel filters have to be replaced or that paint starts falling off. But the Duramax is going downhill. She's at a quarter of a million miles. She's been around the block one, two thousand times. I think I just gotta look after her a little bit more often. But the good thing is, is I do have notes in my manual. 
I do keep track of what I do, and I suggest that you guys do too. Like here, if you want to read that, you can. But uh, after I do my maintenance this time, I'm going to document it, and then I'm also going to see what I need to do on top of what I've done. So no, I'm not disappointed in the Duramax. Other people might be, but it all falls back on me, lack of maintenance. I do look over my baby though. She's a good girl. This gasket has yet to shrink yet. Come on baby, shrink up. 